It's all about the long jump takeoff in this video and in particular vertical velocity. We're going to find out what exactly happens in terms of speed upwards at takeoff and what you can do to improve upon it. This is a follow on video from last week's one which looked at horizontal velocity and speed loss which is inevitable over the last two steps in particular. So do go back and take a look at that video as you need to understand both horizontal velocity and vertical velocity in terms of its effects on takeoff. Now again I'm using the statistics from World Athletics and the 2017 World Outdoor Championships which was won by Luvo Mayonga with Jarian Lawson in second place 848 to 844. At the point of takeoff Mayonga had a horizontal velocity of 9.12 meters per second and a vertical velocity of 3.68 meters a second. The figures for Lawson were 9.56 and 3.51 meters a second respectively. The researchers identified a loss of vertical versus horizontal velocity of 1.58 meters a second for Manyonga and 1.10 meters a second for Lawson. So Lawson has greater horizontal velocity coming into the board and Mayonga is not quite as fast. So Lawson carries more speed through his takeoff compared to Manyonga. However, Manyonga has greater vertical velocity and that seemed to be the reason why he jumped further, albeit only by four centimeters. Just to reiterate, how far you jump is determined by your speed into the takeoff and your speed up off of the takeoff. So optimizing both of those velocities will optimize your jump distance in turn. Now there are a couple of other factors that we need to consider when it comes to determining the effectiveness of vertical velocity at takeoff and that's the degree of bend at the knee and also the speed at which that bend occurs. Manyonga struck the board with a knee angle of 177.5 degrees but when he took off it was at 142.6 degrees so that was a loss of about 32 degrees in terms of knee flexion at the point of takeoff. Lawson's angle at the knee joint decreased by more just over 45 degrees. Takeoff angle will also be influenced by the interplay between the vertical velocity and the horizontal velocity at takeoff and in particular somewhat obviously the vertical velocity. That's why Mayonga gets up higher off of the board compared to Lawson. Lawson brings in more speed, goes slightly flatter, but we want to know specifically as jumpers what we can do to improve our takeoff and in particular in the case of this video vertical velocity. Now a great way to do this is to utilize drills and practices which overload the takeoff eccentrically and also to utilize plyometric drills that have an eccentric emphasis too so that you can improve your force return, your absorption and force return. On screen now you're seeing one of the most common drills that I use in our training to improve vertical velocity and that is the utilization of a platform, in our case a couple of mats placed on the penultimate step out from the takeoff. So that means that the jumper has to come down with greater force and return that force in order to elevate themselves from the board. Now we will do this regularly across the whole of the training year and throughout the competitive phase. You can also use eccentric emphasis plyometrics such as stair jumps down the stairs. So there's research that I've discovered that indicates that the torque of the knee extensors is significantly enhanced, improved with a period of downhill stair jumping, drop jumps. So by incorporating similar activities into your training, you can improve your eccentric capacity, which in turn should improve your eccentric capacity on the board and your vertical velocity transference. We also use drop and block jumps and again you're seeing some of those on screen now. Recently I've started to overload those drops so you're seeing some of the guys holding a medicine ball for example the weight of which is between 5 and 10 kilograms so that's going to significantly multiply the amount of force that you've got to withstand on the landing. However 
The eccentric takeoff work that you've seen previously is much more specific. So it's a combination of including all those activities, those eccentric overload activities into your training, which will improve your ability to gain more height from the board. I hope this introduction to vertical velocity at takeoff for the long jump makes sense and you can better understand how to train specifically in order to improve your ability to gain height off of the board. And hopefully also you understand from a biomechanical point of view some of the factors that influence the takeoff in terms of the horizontal velocity and the vertical velocity. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. Please like, subscribe and share and give this video a thumbs up. And good luck with your competitions you've got coming up and of course your training. If you'd like to help me help you become a better athlete or coach then do consider becoming a channel member. For as little as £1.99 a month, $1.99 a month, you can become a channel supporter and do just that. So head over to the channel's homepage, click on the membership button and see what offers are available. If you're interested in finding out more about the free lap timing system, which is accurate to one thousandth of a second, then again get in contact at the email address below.